Hello and welcome back. This particular video, we are going to talk about heading tags. As you know, whenever you create a blog post or a landing page or a website, you will notice that the headings at the very top tend to be very, very big, right? So that's what we're going to talk about is that particular tag. Now that particular tag, you'll oftentimes people say H1 tags, H2 tags, H3 and more. So really what it's defined by, if we do an H1 tag, it's remember there's two brackets that are surrounding that particular word H1. So it can be lowercase H and it can be uppercase H. It really doesn't matter. So if you're wondering if there's a difference, there's really no difference. So you start that tag out. So you open the tag up and now you can put the word. So this is going to be your headline your heading, the big word title, whatever you want it to be. So you will write out the headline text here. And when it's time to close that down, remember it's going to be H1, except the end tag is going to have a slash right before the word. So if I minimize this, that's what it looks like. So H1, the actual text and then you close it out by doing h1 but a slash right before here so bracket slash and then the word so that's what a h1 tag or headline tag is now if you want to have a heading but you don't want it to be as big as maybe the first headline and maybe you have like a sub headline that you want it to be a little bit smaller then the way this works is it increases the number. So it's a little bit backward thinking, but number one, if you think about top one, you know, number one, number two, number three. So if you think about like the Olympics, for example, the number one person, the number two person, number three person. So if you think about it that way, the number one person has a bigger prize. So in this case, bigger headline. The number two person has a not as big as number one, but a lot bigger than number three. So that's kind of how it works. So if you want to decrease in size, it's going to go from H2, H3, H4, and so forth and so on. And you would do this exact same thing. This could be something like a sub headline text. And then we can close that off with slash H2. And this could be something like a sectional headline and we close it off in H3. So as the number gets bigger, the heading gets smaller, but it's still a headline. Now, when Google comes along, for example, and they read these headlines, they say, okay, this, this is a headline. Uh, this is a headline. This might be not as important as this headline. Uh, we don't know exactly, but that's what we've seen. Now, if you go back over to Composer and apply this knowledge that I have taught you, so we'll go here, we'll create a blank page. So besides the title, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and I'm gonna say headline text. Now, what I'm gonna do is under it, body text drop down here, Click on that and you're going to see heading one, two, three, four, five, six. So obviously the main big headline is going to be H1, right? Now, if I go to the source tab, you will be able to see that it does indeed say H1 headline text, and then it closes it off. Of course, if we highlight this again and we change to say heading two, you see how it gets smaller, change it to heading three and it gets smaller and the greater the heading, the smaller we get. So if you think about the Olympic analogy that I talked about earlier, that's how it works. So obviously this is heading three. So if we take a look at the source code here, we can see it starts with H3 and then it closes off. So I wanted to cover headlines simply because headlines are something that you're generally speaking, going to use all the time, especially when it comes to landing pages, web pages, even WordPress. 
any type of content management system will use this type of code and it's universal. So hopefully that makes sense and we'll move on to the next video.